project starts out with some prototyping. I made it full scale in cardboard with some hot glue and brad nails. So that gave me an idea of the mechanics, proportions, the dimensions, and so now I can take dimensions from this and go put them in a CAD program. I use Fusion 360. That way it helps me order material accurately. <laughs> this plug which will become the boss on the dynamic jaw of this arm and then I'm going to take a hole saw that's 40 thousandths bigger in diameter than this plug to cut out the hole for the notch on the static jaw clevis arm. The reason I'm using two different hole saws is the kerf on the hole saw that cut this plug is way too sloppy to use as a pivot. That actually worked. Hopefully as that cools with it clamped up, then maybe it'll retain most of its shape, but I'm sure it'll be preloaded, but that's nothing some clamping and a welder can't fix. I'm really excited that that worked. <laughs> the vice stand, you would know that the plate warped when I welded the post to it. So I'm just trying something to see if I can prevent it. It probably will still warp. That's okay, we're just having fun. All right, let's see how bad this thing warped. It's not bad, let's put it on the floor. 
smell of burnt plywood. So the plate on this thing warped obviously. If you want to see how I'm going to fix it here, go ahead and check out my last video on the uh, vice stand. I went through the whole problem solving process on that video and eventually I'll add leveling feet to both stands. determines if the jaws will be square. this real quick and we'll see what we come up with. So I'm thinking I can change the angle of that miter to come down more. This right here is a stop that limits this jaw from opening up too far, but there's other ways around that. I can weld a bar across here as a new stop. I can weld a stop on the bottom plate here. Yeah. 